Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about our play games that today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and it did a lot of stuff actually. We made our way through Waterfall and we fell down here into the trash zone and in this episode we're going to go ahead and continue on forward see if we can make our way out and further towards uh, King Asgore because remember that's our goal to get over to him and try to escape the underground. Without further ado, let's continue. They're going through here, piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> Just garbage. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Garbage. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one. Do we have... Okay, we're carrying too much, but this is actually a place where you can get a few healing items, so if you need some, go ahead and take them there. We have some more trash. A trash heap. It's a DVD case for anime. Despite desperate claw marks cover the edges. We have another training dummy, like the one we saw in the ruins. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Ha <laughs> Too intim intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for, ni for a nice chat. But the things you said... Horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. This is the Mad Dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Futile, futile, futile. So he has these attacks where he shoots these at you, but what can happen is you can actually get them to attack him instead. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. So now we're just going to spare him. I'll defeat you and take your soul. You also get this awesome boss theme. I think this is used a bit later in the game. It's a really good song. Probably one of my favorites in the soundtrack. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. I'm not sure what kind of voice I'm doing for this guy, but I don't know. I hope it fits. Mad Dummy is hopping mad. I'll stand in a window of a fancy store. Then everything I want will be mine. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. What was that name again? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, a few things got him. Hey, guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired. All, you're all being replaced. <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Dummy bots, magic missile. And they still get him. Dummy bots, try again. Ah, I didn't get him that time. Dummy bots, you're awful. Dummy bots, final attack. Hmm. 
Ah. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. 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 <laughs> Where? What the heck is this? Ugh. Acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Sorry. I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. So now that we're over here, uh, there's a few things that we can do. First of all, if we head to the left, you remember this duck from the previous episode? Well, if we go ahead and talk to it, then it'll bring us across the little pond here, I guess. Or not really a pond, but this body of water. Let's go ahead and get a ride. Very epic music for carrying us like 20 feet. And so we can go back here if we want. And then if you just talk to the bird again. Then we get to listen to the epic music some more. Alrighty, now if we head up to the top left, we have this house and we also have the mad dummy. What? 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 It's a living. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. I wonder who whose house this could be. Speaking of, I wonder whose house this could be. We have this house right over here to the right. It's locked. We'll get to this in a little bit. On this house on the left. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Uh, do you want to listen to some tunes or something? The spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess.
All right, it's about time to get up. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Finally, there, here's something interesting that I didn't even know happened. So if you go ahead and click on one of these, this CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Yeah, let's play it. And we get to listen to some music. The CD is labeled Spook Wave. And you get like, and like a louder version of it. CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it. And it's like a Halloweenified uh, jingle bells. So I don't know if this matters, but I'm gonna go ahead and play Spook Wave. And we wanna walk outside. What the heck is that music? Uh, I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out, Wink. This is worse than Shiren. No way, Shiren is way less scary, Wink. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear, Wink. Forget it, this beat is too... filthy. Wash, wait, don't leave me, Wink. Is this not creepy music my punishment for being creepy, Wink? Please stop. I'll never creep again. Wah! Wink. <laughs> That's an interesting event. North, Bluke Acres. East, Hotland. Eh? Temi Village. Okay, so now we're at the snail farm and the music has stopped. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, it's far and stretched beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snaileth Sammy Buell. I've been long overdue for a second house. The snail is counting dollar bills. So, Napsablook is over here. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Okay, press Z repeatedly to, to encourage your snail. Ready? Two. One. If we spam Z, or enter. The snail flips upside down, goes into its shell, and gets set on fire for some reason. Race end. Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. So what may seem like a gag, it, there actually is wi a way to win this. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10 G to play. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, now I think I should be good. I don't know if there's a weird texture glitch going on with my snail. I don't think it normally looks like that, but I don't know. Also, I think the snail getting set on fire thing, I think that might be a reference to SpongeBob. I'm not entirely sure. Come on. Race end. 
Your snail lost by a thin margin. Oh, I think I got something rare. Actually, the snail is under the false belief that it won. Oh no, the snail is looking over here. Here, I'll give you some money. Act like you won. You got 30 G. Okay, I, I didn't think I would be able to do that, but if you lose by just a small margin, then you do get 30 G. Now, I want to see if I can actually win this. Wait. You won. Congratulations. As a prize, you get 9G. Sorry, we have to make a profit somehow. Okay, so yeah, you... You get more money if you lose by a very thin margin, so... If you want to... Try to, you know, grind money from that, it's very hard, but I'm sure you can do it. I actually got kind of lucky there. Let's head on over to the right here. We have this shop. Whoa there, I got some neat junk for sale. Or, what voice should I give him? Hello, whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale. I'll just do my voice for the boat caretaker from Ace Attorney. Anything you want to know? About yourself. I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through mo so much of it yourself. <laughs> That emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wahahaha! <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wahahaha! <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblem's meaning. The emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death, the harbinger of destruction, waiting for us to free, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wahaha! <laughs> so, some of you hear Delta Rune and immediately, uh, you know, are surprised because this game, Undertale, actually sort of got a pseudo sequel called Delta Rune. And it's still in development. The first two chapters are out as a demo for free on Steam, so I'd suggest you go check it out. And, you know, I think we might sort of get an answer to what the Deltarune is in the game Deltarune. Hopefully, right? King Fluffy Bunch, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep wake walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to talk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dream a Fluffy Bunch? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. We'll be sure to do that. Undyne. Yeah, she's a local hero, hero around here. So, through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It just might sa it might just save your hide. Wahaha! <laughs> so, I think... Okay, is this saying that I'll lose defense if I... If this is saying that, I'm, that I'll lose attack or defense by getting these items, then these items suck. I'll come back here to buy stuff if it... I'll look into it and see if... You know, let me actually check. Okay, I can't check the stats on my weapons. 
but I'll come back here if those items are actually good. So what's down here? Okay, this is another one of these areas. Once again, I'll get to that later. We have the box. I'm not sure we need to put anything away. You know what? I'll go ahead and put the dog residue away. Also, something that I forgot to note in the previous episode is that the snowman piece can be eaten. Don't do that, though. You might accidentally eat it, but just try your best not to eat it. It's not the end of the world if you accidentally do eat it, but I'd suggest not eating it. Earth beaten and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Okay. Now I'm going to quickly go back because I keep forgetting to call Papyrus. So I'm going to call Papyrus a couple of times and then we might end off the episode. I hope this isn't like a recurring thing where I keep accidentally forgetting to call Papyrus. It doesn't seem like we'll have too many screens to worry about though. So, let's just go back through here, and can Papyrus even get a call from down here? I know why you called me. I always make people feel better when they're down in the dumps. I've spent too long with my brother today. Forget I said that. <laughs> okay. Garbage, huh? Boy, do I know garbage. After all, I'm a housemate with a lazy, lazy bag of trash. His name's Trashy. He lives in the garbage can. You didn't think I didn't name... You didn't think I didn't name my garbage, did you? Flowers? Do any of them talk? Say hi for me. So you'll remember, uh, Sans mentioned that a flower would talk to Papyrus. Flowers are our best friends. Hmm. Hey, you're near Undine's house. That's to the left upwards. Lupwards. All of the other directions go to the wrong house. North, ghost house. East, turtle house. South, trash house. West, bird house. So yeah, he mentions that this is actually Undine's house. So that's an answer that we wanted. A bird monster, try talking to it. Or you could put me on the line. I've got some pretty good tweets. Horrible, <laughs> horrible bird imitations. Did the bird like my tweets? That's Undine's house. Let's go there and hang out someday. Still waiting outside her house? Yeah, I do that sometimes too. Oh, that's the house of, um, Undine's neighbor. What was their name again? Spooky Blue Blue? Napa Hog? <laughs> These snails are just like my brother. Round, slow, and constantly emitting slime? Emitting slime. That's just what brothers do. If you see a shop, you should stop, drop, and roll into some great deals, because we're having a fire sale at my imaginary store which sells flames. Papyrus would be a great salesman. Yet another dream of mine. What's that strange whisper? I might have to hang up. Papyrus isn't home right now. 
What? Mushrooms? Can you eat them? Are you sure you can't eat them? I'd try eating them. <laughs> Maybe we'll eat them in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, because next time we're going to continue on through the waterfall and maybe I'll actually remember to call Papyrus. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!